It's Dr. Lori. I'm on Cape Cod, Massachusetts in Brewster. This is the Sea Captain's Thrift Shop. Come on in. Let's see what we find. What have we got in here? Uh, this is nice for $3. It's a Stafford piece. It's oven to table. It's for quiche. Remember when in the 90s everybody was making quiche? <laughs> I'm still making quiche. Three bucks is good for that. It's, it's a transfer wear piece. It's nice. It's not in great shape. You can see how the colors are now faded. For three dollars, it's definitely a bargain. It's worth about fifteen. Steins. A lot of you would pass by Steins. So one of these I would pass by, but the other one I wouldn't. So see if you can tell which one I would pass by and which one I wouldn't pass by. So this is an, a newer German Stein. Um, and that particular one I would pass by, but this other one I wouldn't. When you see a, a, a glaze like this, I would leave that glaze. See, it's very, very bright colored glaze. You want more of a dull glaze on the ceramic. So this is a nice piece, and the glaze is colored. See how it's colored here in the cobalt blue? And see how it has the decoration on the lid? This nice big finial that comes up. The lid decoration is nice and heavy. It's not as shiny. So when it comes to steins, stay away from shiny. So that's the way you remember. You don't want a shiny stein. <laughs> so that's what we're looking at here. And then see that. That's really, that's nice. So on, the, on, on this, you see, yeah, that does look relatively matte. That's what you want. Nice ceramic. It's going to be a nice German manufacturer. And here we go at the bottom. You can see the German manufacturers, handmade, hand-painted. I did terribly in German. I could not get a good grade in a German language class. I was terrible at it. But there it is, Germany in English, which I'm pretty good at. So <laughs> basically, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at a nice manufacturer's mark for this German Stein. The other thing about the Stein is it will have flowers here on this element near the handle. See the floral detail near the handle? And then on the other side, it's usually gentlemen who are sitting around socializing. Um, pubs, taverns are usually the image that you see on this side, right? So here we are, they're socializing in an interior scene, very typical of it. How old is this piece? This piece dates to the early 1900s. And this piece is a true antique sitting right here, 20 bucks. What do they get for them? About 200. So that's a beautiful example for the German Stein. Now, this one next to it is also 20 bucks. And that one is only worth 20 bucks. So there's your difference. There's your difference in what to look for. Right next to each other. I mean, it couldn't get any easier than that. I love fish. I love fish. I want fish. I love fish. Look at these. They're cheapies. <laughs> but cheapies sell, too. And people collect cheapies. So I like the fact that they're, they're painted, but they're not made by anybody great. They're made in China. And they're made, really, for more of the Caribbean market rather than... Um, the Cape Cod, New England market, but you know, fish and seafood work anywhere. They're brightly colored. I don't think they're that expensive, although I don't see a price tag. But you know, a lot of you know, if there's not a price tag, maybe you can negotiate. I'm gonna see if any of them, are, none of them are marked. Dishwasher safe, microwave safe, made in China. If you see microwave or dishwasher, that should give you an obvious clue of time period when they were made. Um, if, they're, if it's $10 for all of them, that's probably a little bit high. Then there's something like that. So you don't expect it, but there is a very nice piece of carnival glass for 10 bucks. And that has a windmill decoration on the center. It's decorated all the way around the rim. All the way around the rim, all of that repeated pattern of the scroll work serpentine around the rim. That's what a lot of people look for. The more decoration of the iridescent glass or the carnival glass is what you're looking for. And if it's footed, value goes up. So you're not walking away from that piece. That piece is really quite nice for $10. And resale market, collectors are going to give you easily $95 for that piece. Uh, blue and white is nice, pretty classic. Ten mugs, not worth too much. So sure, you could pick those up if they're cheap. They're ten dollars, so they're a dollar a mug. The Mackenzie Child, people like it. Not my thing. I'm not crazy about that. Um, but it was very indicative of the 1980s. They still sell them today. Um, picture frames. I don't think it looks like it's great quality, but I understand it's Mackenzie Child, so they are working off of their. They're working off of their brand name, which hey, that's what people do. Um, you could probably get 25 out of that. 
a Royal Dalton pie plate. There you go. New. Nice design. I like the design. Red calico. Cute. Right? That's a cute design. And uh, you've got a nice you've got a nice little pie plate there by Royal Dalton, of course, the great English manufacturer. Calico red, is what they're calling it. And it gives you, of course, a maker's a time period for it, too. Uh, but the Royal Dalton Company, with its characteristic lion and crown, uh, given to them a long time before this was ever made uh, in the late 20th century. But this is really the winner here. They want $5 for the pie plate. Cheap pie plates are 20 bucks, so a Royal Dalton pie plate should be anywhere in the 25 to 50 dollar range. I would say for this pie plate, you're probably looking at that. But this is really what I love. I think this is beautiful. Also, red calico for the pattern. Royal Dalton has for a long time put the actual pattern name on the bottom of the the uh, pieces. So when you look at the mark, you can you will know if you get a, a new enough piece, you'll actually know what the pattern name is and when you're searching you can find the pattern name everyone's like Dr. Gloria I can't find the pattern I can't find the pattern sometimes it doesn't matter and sometimes they don't have a specific name but a lot of times because everybody was searching for the pattern names they gave you the pattern name having said that this is a very nice serving bowl my mom would use this for fruit salad because in the summer it was all about fruit salad cut it all up and then put it in a bowl and then you know all week you could um, have it. it could be used for a lot of different things salad as well um, and also hot dishes because of course it is the the Royal Dalton China um, eight dollars is a total steal on this that piece is 45 so eight dollars to get a 45 dollar piece is really pretty fantastic and then there's the 1960s bowl this bowl is a very typical wheat sheath pattern. I, I've talked about this before. The wheat sheath is actually a pattern that you'll see in the late 1950s, early 60s. And that this actually had a stand. So there was a metal stand that held the bowl and it held another bowl on top of it for chips and dip. And that stand held a little bowl that sat around here that you'd put the tips. So you'd take a chip and you'd put it into the dip and you'd have one. In the 60s, we did we ate chips and dip like that. Today, we just take the whole bag and just eat out of the bag. <laughs> so this was the refined way to basically eat chips and dip. Um, but that's from the 1950s, late 50s, early 60s. And it's only the bowl. You don't have the small matching bowl or the stand that goes with it. For $4, that's a deal because you can get 40 out of it. So we're really seeing 10% in this place. So you have a set like this set, which $5 for the set. This is a cordial set. It has a mark right on the bottom. Tells you about the manufacturer. And that set is not as um, two, four, five. There's only five, so they broke a glass. But look at the daisies. People do like it. A lot of people will buy the cordial set, but then only use the decanter. So the decanter, because it has the floral decoration, is really the desired element of that. Um, but it's not really um, as popular as it once was. What's it worth? It's probably worth $75 for the whole set. That would be these individual glasses, only five. You should have six. And then, of course, the decanter um, with the t matching stopper and, of course, the, um, the matching daisies on the body of that as well. We're looking for bargains, people. We are looking for bargains. What else can I see? Okay, so we have platters. Platters are always useful, helpful. Um, you know, people would like these, and they use these. But, again, depending on how much they are, well, $4 is cheap for that platter. $4 is cheap for this. This is a really nicely made piece of crystal. And when you look at the whole table, you, it stands out. I hope it stands out for all of you. Because when you're looking at the whole table, you're going, okay, glass, it kind of has a green tint. Okay, glass, it's separated, so not my style. Okay, this is big and heavy, so I like this. I like the colored glass pieces. But that piece stands out because of its brightness, because of its thickness, because of its style, because it's cut on the sides, because of the starburst in the middle. And then you know why else it, it actually stands out? Look at the $4 price tag on this thing. <laughs> so $4 on that piece. It has incised handles, so you can see where my hand is, that there's a natural place for your hand to go. And that's also one more mark of quality. That piece, what would I pay for that piece? This piece, what's it worth in the retail market? It's 40 bucks. That's a nice piece of crystal. And speaking of nice pieces, the matching set of Romanian carved, so basically they are carved decanters, and you've got two of them and they match. 
the, the stoppers match. And look at where the stopper stops. You see the stopper up here? It stops here. And you can see its age, that that stopper has been sitting in there for a long time. So if I lift up the stopper, you know where it's going to actually sit. You can see, actually, if I put my finger back there, you can see where the stopper has rubbed up against the glass neck all these years. You can see that line right there. And that's where the stopper sits, so you know that that stopper matches. That's the way you tell if the stopper matches. This is really nice. Here's your mark right here on that label. Sometimes the labels are still on these things. I know, I don't know if you had these things, but my mother was not frou-frou, let's decorate everything. She was bringing up kids, she was going to church, she was helping people, she did not have time to be entertaining. So that was fine. A lot of her stuff, my mother's stuff from her cedar chest, from our attic, from, you know, uh, you know, china cabinets, when they came out, the labels were still on them because she didn't use a lot of the stuff. She got stuff for their wedding, this kind of thing. It's not like today when people are giving you know, uh, honey, honey fun toward a honeymoon or something like that. It was gifts, and it was gifts for the home in those times. So a lot of things do still have labels, and you can see that here. Okay, let's get to brass tacks. Five dollars each is what they want for these. These are a hundred dollars for each one. So two hundred dollars here for a ten dollar investment. So that's a lot. That's a big bargain for those. If you want to have a bar that has, of course, these nice matching Romanian-made glass pieces. So that's what you're looking at. Well, my dad used to go clamming in a place called Stage Harbor near Chatham. And let me tell you, he could use those almost brand new from Cabela's. 25 bucks. I'm sorry. These are very expensive. And this is a real bargain. I know, not already antique or collectible, but a bargain. And I show you all of them. I'm leaving them here for you. $25. They're 150 bucks if you're going to buy them in the store, and they are like new. How about those fines? And I left them all there for you.